Hey guys, I wanted to make a quick video here checking out the new Google Maps app for Android. Now I've included the APKs in the description so you can go ahead and install this if you want to right now. If you don't want to install this version, obviously you can wait for it to come through the Play Store, though that may take a few weeks. So let's go ahead and open it up here. So you can see the icons the same. Now this looks very similar to what they have over on iOS for their Google Maps and we've finally got that kind of that new layout which I actually really like. You see it's very minimalistic. You got your search bar, your directions, your profile over here as well. It's all very fast, all very fluid, nice transitions. You can pull this little bar over. You got your traffic, public transport, cycling, satellite, Google Earth, which does take you to a separate app. You will notice that they don't have latitude anymore. They are getting rid of latitude. So if you're a latitude fan, I'm afraid it's going to go. So yeah. Now, if we click over to live traffic here, you'll see that all the traffic will be updated. And there you go. And you can see these nice little kind of signs. You can actually click these signs and see what's going on. You can see that's a construction sign. Gives gives you a little bit of detail about it. So it's very detailed. It's got a lot of information, like always with Google Maps. It's a uh, it's a nice update. I really do like the UI here. If we uh, wait, I'll just show you. You can actually uh, drop a pin right now. So you can actually just kind of hold any location. You see this little pin pop up, and at the bottom it'll say loading address. And I managed to pick a restaurant. You can actually pull this up here. You've got a street view. You can save, share. If there is actually any kind of reviews or stuff like that, it will bring up the reviews as well. So that's pretty awesome. If you just click the search bar here, you'll see you get your searches and then you get an explore and services underneath that. So that's kind of cool. If you click explore here, it loads up all the things that it thinks you might want to see. So for example, you've got eat, drink, shop, play, sleep, all those different places, which is uh, pretty cool. So let's just click eat right now. You can see it loads up, obviously depending on your network connection and speed and stuff like that. And here we go. So you can see it grabs stuff from your circles as well, local favorites as well, which is uh, pretty cool, restaurants as well, fast food. So you've got loads of different places here, popular for tourists, loads of different options you want. So let's just pick Pizza Pilgrims for example. And you can see it's loading up right here. If we pull it up, you can navigate just by quickly clicking that button. But if we just scroll down here, you can see the website, the opening hours, the reviews it gets. And if you scroll down, you can actually read people's reviews. So it's very comprehensive, really nice. You can actually leave your own review as well if you've been there. If we pull that back down and actually click the uh, directions button, you get your location to the place. You get three different options for your rerouting options and stuff like that. You can go by train, cycling, or walking. Now, I can't actually show you this because I'm not navigating right now, but if I pull up the window here from Google+, Plus, whoops, and I go to News, uh, you will notice that, here we go, I saw this in the video, there's actually quite a cool video, you can see fastest route, na faster route now available, so it's always checking there's a faster route and you can actually, while being navigated, you can reroute or just say no thanks to that. So that's a nice little addition there. So yeah, this is, uh, it's really nice, I've got to say, the like I said, the iOS version has had this for a little bit of time, but uh, it's pretty cool. You'll also notice that there isn't any offline maps, or there's no option to save your offline maps, so everyone's going kind of crazy. and there is offline maps but it's kind of weird to do so to actually do it you have to kind of zoom in and zoom out to the screen you want like you normally had to do so let's say i want to cache this area of the map you then click on search and you and you type in okay maps which is pretty kind of cryptic and hard to find once you press okay maps you press search here and you can see preloading map done the on-screen map area has now been cached so i'm not sure why google kind of made it that difficult but it is still possible to cache certain areas of your map obviously you can't do your whole kind of the uk or the us it'll just be too big but you can still kind of cache maps for offline use so that is still there but um yeah i'm really liking this new maps app so definitely give it a shot peace out